What is up everybody? Here we are today with a buggy artillery deck. We are on Battlefield, which is a great map for artillery. Um, I haven't really tried the artillery that much since the patch. I kind of want to see how, how viable it is. Because there's a lot of decks that just like auto lose to an artillery. So I'm kind of keen to see if that's still the case. Or if like the additional cost really holds it back. I think artillery is still going to be a gross unit, but there's definitely going to be a lot of games that end before artillery comes out. Which can obviously be an issue. The reason I've gone with these five, these five other units is I want Phantom to go with the artillery, and I feel like these four are the, the four best units to put together for a four card nod deck. Obviously, I'm going to play Oxana with artillery. I think uh, it's medium insane not to. Artillery goes completely insane with, with, uh, with Oxana. That's really what breaks it. Um, so I'm seeing DM Wanderer is saying in chat that fanatic buffing is toxic but, those, toxic but those units keep their stats. I feel obliged to respond to this message because fanatics have had like four, four nerfs now, maybe five. <laughs> like fanatic stats have been, have been uh, nerfed very, very, very many times. So um, I disagree with that statement in the most emphatic terms. They absolutely have not been allowed to keep their stats. They have lost colossal amounts of their stats. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the artillery. So this guy's open buggy, so we just went straight into Scorpion tank. I don't really want to make... I'm going to make laser to back up the, the tank, but... Honestly, like, we're only seeing a buggy and bike, so at the moment the tank kind of handles everything. Alright, this looks like it's going to be a pretty easy first missile. I might go try and get a really fast artillery here. Well, how much is the artillery? Yeah, I need 200 tib for an artillery. So let's see how long it is before I have 200 Tiberium. Bearing in mind that I'm building nothing. Literally, just, I built three units and now I'm going to wait for my artillery. So I've built a scorpion, a rifle, and a laser. That's like 100 tib of units. And now we're going to see what time I can get an artillery out after spending 100 tib on units. I also built 50 here, which is minus 20, because obviously you get the 30 reduction. So I can still, even even making only three units, my artillery comes out at 136, which is later than his Widowmaker gets to the pad. Kind of crazy. And it barely, it looks like I'm just about going to set up before the missile fires. Yeah, I fired twice. Two shots of my artillery before the game ended. And I did almost nothing this game. So that's kind of insane. Objective complete. Alright, so we're gonna keep going harvester first because we just really, really don't wanna don't want a game to end too early on. Well then maybe go rifle one first, actually better for stalling, because when we we gain control of the middle of the map. Our opponent has gone laser first, a classic, a classic opener. The laser first. Probably gonna go flamers next. A classic opening. Oh foo foo. You know how to play a Sweet game of rivals, my dude. Look at that, engaging with the flamers so the lasers have a chance to move in. Very nice, very nice. Let's get a buggy because obviously we can't fight the flamers with just rifles. Janker Joe with the prime. Yo, thank you, Janker. Yes, I am still here. <laughs> thank you, Nicole, for that update. Oh, we've got laser drones as well. We're gonna we're gonna make more buggies. So far, our opponent has not shown us an answer to buggy. Laser drone is not a great answer to buggy. So I'm just going to keep making buggies until uh, until he shows us a way to beat buggy. Might have to boost one of these buggies. Alright, there it is. The mighty buggy and the gun. Once again. Once again, the buggy and the gun. Taking names. Not too fussed about laser drones going off my harvester. They're not that good against harvester. They did get a pretty significant nerf. I am going to leave him with a singular laser drone. That is, uh, you know, that is always the joy of your opponent making laser drones. Ooh, an obelisk to kill buggies. Wow, imagine that. 
Imagine making an obelisk just to kill buggies. Crazy. I should actually stop sending buggies into the obelisk. I should instead get uh, laser troops until the obelisk is gone. Uh, still not that close to the artillery, which I'm not that surprised by, honestly. Looks like we are going to end another game without getting close to the artillery. Alright, well, yeah. <laughs> if we get to third missile, we might see some artillery, but... You are victorious. Alright, so we're going to Suez. I kind of think that these tech splash decks, um, if the game is quick, like if it's a two missile game, you're just not going to see the tech unit, which is obviously a massive issue with playing a tech splash, because then I'm just playing a five card deck where I have to win one of the missiles with my five card deck. And if that's the case, then I might as well just play a six card deck and try and win two missiles, right? Like, it's not like winning one missile just guarantees me the win with the artillery, it just allows me to potentially even make an artillery. Alright, we're gonna chill. Looks like he wants to push in 3v2. Yeah, so we'll make a buggy here. He probably goes pit. I'm hoping he goes pitbull. If he goes orca, that's the worst case scenario. Pitbull would be good. Yeah, pitbull's fine. He's actually boosted it as well, which is a mistake because we'll just hide behind our rifles and get a tank. This is why I wanted him to go pitbull because then I can get uh, I can get a tank and shut down the pitbull. Whereas if he goes orca, then the tank does nothing. He's got his own tank. Interesting. We're happy. We're pretty happy to keep the missile stall as much as possible. He says whilst charging the missile. Like, I, I just wanted to get in the way of the tank, to be honest with you. That's kind of what I was aiming for there. Now what I'm going to do is create this line of units, which makes it really hard for him to micro his radio unit. You see how his tank is like chilling in the back? Because it makes it really difficult to micro the radio unit there. Because I've got a line, so there's no like mo there's no area he can order his unit to go to that goes through my unit. All right, so this is a very long first missile, very very long first missile, but uh, that's good for us because we have this artillery. So we're actually like kind of close to our artillery now. We might need another laser troop because looks like he's going to try and pressure my harvester with his predator. It looked like it was not something he was thinking about doing. And there's the artillery, very nice. Oops, did not mean to pack it up. Well, too late now, it's packed up. Let's move it forwards now, might as well, since we packed it up by accident. And then we're just going to make lasers to surround it. That's generally what you do once you make your artillery, you just surround it with lasers, and then you use the artillery to kill anything that kills laser. Yep, pretty standard artillery gameplay here. Not sure why they are trying to move there, it's kind of annoying. And we'll get a phantom, the updated laser, <laughs> it's basically the upgraded laser is a phantom. And that should just be game over, there's no way he's beating artillery. We'll boost it as well, just in case. But yeah, there's no way, his deck looks very much like he can never beat an artillery. Yeah, even he, even he admits it was a brilliant move. Alright, we're up against Jackson. I haven't seen any Jade or Solomon yet, which is very unusual and also good for an artillery deck. Because obviously both of those things kind of counter the artillery. Again, I'm like happy, and instead of getting on the middle, normally I'd go and contest him for this middle. Instead of going to the different one, but because we're playing artillery and we're having a stall, there's no reason to contest. We just want to chill. All right, we'll move him with both our rifles against the sniper. You can't send in snipers without blockers, man. That's not. That's not how you sniper. Double sniper, yikes. Okay. Definitely just gonna go straight into buggy. Not too fast about losing his rifles even. Oops, not looking at that. Missiles also loses to buggy. It sounds like we're just gonna keep making buggies for now. Buggy and gun, pretty OP. A renowned combo in Command Conquer Rivals. Buggy and gun. Buggy on its own is alright. Gun on its own is fine, but buggy and gun, that's where you really wanna be. 
One without the other just isn't that impressive. Boosted laser? Oh my god. Oh, missile even. This dude really hates my buggies. I, can, I understand. I understand the buggy hatred. When you're slain by the buggy, it's hard to uh, it's hard not to hate him. Just gonna just use a tank to kill the sniper. The secret secret counter to snipers is tank chat. It's actually one of the best units in the game against sniper. All right, well we're actually pretty close to the artillery now. As an MLRS, which ironically is actually quite good against artillery. You think like, oh, artillery has free range, it must smash MLRS, but no. It actually, because MLRS can tank an artillery shell, it can, an artillery doesn't tank an MLRS volley. So you can boost your MLRS, send it at the artillery, and kill the artillery. I mean, this is not boosted, so I'm going to win, and mine is boosted. But if he boosted his and mine was not boosted, then he would be able to simply uh, walk up to the artillery and kill it from two tiles away, which is pretty funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Artillery is still pretty good, chat. Artillery is still pretty good. Can confirm. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective available. Hervat 85. Building online. I suspect Hervat is not how you pronounce this guy's name. Oh, a bike. A bike rush, my dude. For realsies. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this bike go in. Because then the laser goes and kills it when it's trapped. And then the other bike we're going to block out. As much as possible. Ah, we missed it up. That's okay though, because the first bike's almost dead. What is this? Is this another bike? Another bike? Wow, fully committing to this strategy. I like it. If you're going to bike rush, you might as well go all in, you know? There's no point bike rushing a little bit. There's no point in sending in just the tip, you know. We gotta go the whole hog. All right, nice bike rush. Now we're gonna go push his harvester because he probably doesn't have good defense for it. Chuggy. All right, if he's gone chuggy, he just is. He's just outright is not making a harvester. So now we just set up our concave of lasers and we get a tank, and the game is so over. <laughs> Rushing is such a bad strategy. Alright, we are going to go to his harvester patch in case he saves up for a harvester. Nope, he's fully committing even deeper. Even more committal than previously. Quite the committing from our opponent here. Alright, now we're just going to chill and wait for an artillery. Shouldn't be too long. I'm not sure this guy can beat the artillery ever either. Like almost every unit he's thrown is basically just one shot by artillery. We're gonna be super aggressive with setting up the artillery here as well, because I'm just not just not scared at all of this dude. I just don't uh, he's not exactly gonna text switch into a shade, is he? Like he has no money. So there's just nothing scary here. Oh, the artillery didn't fire. Oops. I thought it had already fired. Can the artillery turn quickly enough that it doesn't take a bike missile? Oh, let's go! Nope, sad. Ah, I really thought I'd nailed it there. I really thought I'd nailed it. Alright, GG. You are victorious. GG. Uh... Some of the names people come up with for this game are uh, pretty surreal. Truly surreal. Is this Serpus brother? <laughs> That's funny. Let's see what he's up to. Looks like blind double half. All right. I'm not gonna even try an artillery against blind double half. There's no world in which a guy playing Kane blind double halving does not have like basilisk or rockworm or a, a avatar or something of that nature that will just annihilate an artillery. Tic tank first unit. What a lunatic! I'm definitely gonna block this. I don't want this borrowing. But yeah, what a straight Looney Tune. I'm okay with it driving up to my Scorpion tank and getting shot whilst it's not borrowed. 
This is basically how you beat ticks with scorpions. You shoot it while it's not borrowed, you just wreck it. I guess I could go push his heart. Shade? Oh my god, this guy's a monster. Get the buggy out of there. I don't want to lose my buggy. Don't really care about these two riflemen anyway. Another tick tank. Another laser. And again, he's going to just drive into this concave. Oh, bro. That is not the play. I promise you, that is not the play. Right, goodbye, sweet tick tank. I wonder how close I am to an artillery. Not close is the answer. Alright, good to know. I actually do need to kill this shade pretty desperately. If this if it kills my buggy, I'm in trouble. Oh, come on man. I literally sent two lasers at it. If he gets another one, that's gonna be a problem. No, he doesn't have another one. Okay, we just win. Cool! Cool, 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 cool. We're not that close to an artillery still. I mean, I guess we are could kind of, we could have probably got artillery next unit if we wanted to, but I doubt it would have been good against his deck. Okay. Up against Olo. Is that, is, is that is that like a musical note emote in his name? What a hero. What an absolute hero. I'm so jealous I didn't put emotes in my name. Didn't realize it was a thing you could do, or I would have done it. This guy went wheel into rifle very, very quickly. That's very strange to go wheel and not make a second wheel. Normally, when you see a barracks opening, you can always go a second wheel. Alright, so we've got the buggy in place. Um, we're probably going to go for laser since we can't afford tank yet. Lock the bike in there. So it's forced to go down here. Now we're going to tank. Let this guy die. Probably should not have uh, abandoned this top pad, but it's fine because I have complete control of the bottom pad. So we're going to win this first missile pretty convincingly. We could try double half artillery now. I'm going to try it. We haven't, we haven't tried it yet. And I, I think the game is likely to end before we get to a uh, artillery if I don't give it a go. So I figure I might as well try it see what happens. I think the game is still actually likely to end before I get there, but we will see. A lot of infantry from our opponent. How close are we to the artillery? Not that close. I kind of like... Uh, Low-key, I think one of the main reasons that people uh, start getting tech units out when they've gone double harvester isn't because you get a ton more money. It's because you can't spend your money. Like, because you're locked out of building units because you have the extra harvester. So it's not even like, oh, you're making way more money. It's just like you just you have no way to spend it because you literally are in, you literally are not allowed to spend your money. So you just end up having a massive bank because you can't make units. But if you didn't have the pop cap issues, you would just make units and still not be able to make your tech. And then like the tech unit has to catch you back up because you're behind because you couldn't make units for ages. So yeah, pop cap is not a good mechanic. Is the uh, the moral of this story I would say. I think pop cap is kind of a terrible mechanic. Anyway, I don't really see this guy having much answer to this artillery, so it looks like the artillery is going to be GG again. Artillery is just an obnoxious unit, man. Just shot down so many things. And look, I have so much, I have infinite money and just can't make any units. <laughs> Two harvesters so badly designed. Alright, up against details. I have a feeling that last time I played against him, he had like a weird no infantry deck or something. He was using like Chuggy Wheel. I don't know if he's like likely to be sticking with that, but I'm going to open laser first. He's gone bikes first. So yeah, this kind of lends credence to my theory that he might not have a proper answer to lasers. I think I'm okay with stalling still. Like I still want... Um, I still want to get late game. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has Chuggy as his answer to lasers. 
So we'll go lasers until we can get a tank. Laser squad, ready, lasers. Here's with laser squad. Power and precision. Our lasers will melt the scorpion ready. Taking position. Scorpion tank report. Lasers, lasers will hit scorpion ready. Get rid of this chuggy ASAP. Alright, cool. That boost was maybe a little over the top. Might have been a little bit of overkill. If he's playing like a chuggy laser strategy, then he could be extremely weak to uh, could be extremely weak to um, artillery. It honestly looks like he's kind of just weak to scorpion tank. He must have an out for scorpion tank. Like if you're playing late, like chuggy laser buggy, sorry chuggy laser bike, you need to have an out for scorpion. Yeah, okay, he's got tick. That makes some sense. Still means artillery is looking very good though. Definitely more lasers while we save up for the artillery. Venom, that's annoying. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go Phantom or not, to be honest with you. I think I should go Phantom first before the artillery. He looks pretty reliant on tick tanks. Let's say we're gonna lose this missile, but then we can go artillery. Hmm. Surprised he didn't get on this pad. Yeah, there's no way we can win that missile, I don't think. Because the tick tanks beat the scorpions once they get borrowed. Oh, and he has a Giga as well? Hmm. Giga's actually a little scary. What a weird deck, man. What an absolutely weird deck. It's gonna be pretty hard to break an artillery with laser. That's a pretty tough sell. Alright, here we got him. Artillery is, yeah, artillery looks like it defeats his deck. Like on its own, pretty much. Alright, cool. Artillery pretty good. Alright, up against Dane. Don't know if that's his name or his nationality. Mm, don't see anything on the pads yet. I'm gonna go check if he's double halving. Looks like he just went laser drones first. An excellent strategy. See if he has Venom follow up. Doesn't look like it. A bit weird. Normally people have Venom follow up. He's actually gone Barracks. Wow, he's gone straight into Flamers. Alright, well, we will uh, we'll go buggy. Yeah, I can I can swap I can swap as well, mate. <laughs> we can both play swapsies. Oh, scouts! Scouts are terrible. Scouts are a very bad unit. Oops! I did not mean to lose that buggy, but that's not too bad. Right, let's get the laser up here and bring this rifleman down. Get okay, fresh buggy as well. Is that a mutant? Oh my god. That's terrifying. Can I block it in time? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, got him. Nice. That is scary though, a mutant? Oh my god. Not hyped about that. Alright, 
I'll just focus down the mutant, there's only one of them left now. I can just kill it with the buggy. And um, we're actually pleased with the artillery now. We've seen laser drones as we are out to artillery, so I'm gonna let these two buggies just fight this uh, bike. They'll do a pretty good job against it. I guess we go artillery followed by laser? Yeah, we know he has laser drones, so we'll get the artillery. Follow up the laser. This single bike I don't care too much about. I'm gonna shoot the scavengers first. Then we just surround the artillery with, uh, with lasers. A banshee? Yeah, I don't care about that. Surrounded by lasers, mate. And this is how you artillery, my dudes. I guess we can make a phantom, but I'm gonna wait and see what he does. See if I actually need a phantom. Yeah, we don't need a phantom at all. I'm gonna make one anyway. Just use air, they say. Just use air. Mission accomplished. CD13, alright, here we go. Harvester ready. Wheels, that's unfortunate. Let's try and bait them into not going on the pads at least for a little while. Yes, follow my rifles, don't go near that pad. We don't want to mess around with the pads. Oh, I did it. We went on the pad. Feels bad, man. Alright, we're going to go up here with two lasers. Keep our rifle nearby as well. Third wheel. I'm okay with this. We'll chill. As long as we're on defense, we'll do alright. I am charging the missile now, which sucks, but... Not a lot of options here. I could do this, I guess? Maybe move, move things around a bit? Yeah, that's nice. Now he's on the pad. Is that a Giga Cannon? Dude. What? I'm so confused. I mean, I guess? Like, just ramming a boosted Giga Cannon at my lasers? That's kind of insane. Oh, that's a Fnatic. Okay, that's scary. The Fnatic I care about a lot more than the random Giga Cannon. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose the missile, but that's not a surprise, given that we're up against a raging lunatic. Uh, so obviously we need the artillery to fight the Giga, like we only have ground units apart from the Phantom. I don't know if the artillery comes out in time, to be perfectly honest. It looks a lot like it doesn't. I'm gonna try and go for my harvester as well. Yeah, I can't, I can't get close enough to it. This is a bit of a problem. If he kills the harvester, we obviously can't, uh, can't afford our artillery. Oh my god. He really went all in on killing that harvester. Ah, oh, this is not good. This is, this is an example of a matchup we can't win with our five card deck. So this is a scenario where we just get heavily punished for having this artillery that doesn't do anything for the first like X amount of time in the game uh, because we have yeah we have this unit that does nothing for a while and by the time it comes out the game is already over which is kind of the problem I was trying to talk I was talking about earlier when I was saying about how um, when I was saying about how you might as well just play a six card deck instead of playing a five card deck this is why because you play a five card deck you find a matchup you can't win with your five card deck artillery comes out. 238? That's way too slow. Maybe upon seeing the Giga, I should have gone double half. I don't know. But like that last slot would normally be an air unit of some description. So for it to be an artillery that just does nothing against a, a matchup you can't win with your five card deck, you just get Shrek. And uh, yeah, those, those tech splash units are so slow now. Like you can't, like I said, I said this uh, during like game three or something, like you can't lose the first missile. Like most games will be over in two missiles. So if you can't win one of the missiles with your five card deck, then you're dead. This is also an insanely good map for Giga Cannon, yes. Like the battlefield is battlefield is absurdly good for Giga Cannon. Um there's like there's the rock also creates choke like it has choke points and it's two pads and they're next to each other. Um but yeah, this is this is why you shouldn't really play a five card deck, because if your five card deck doesn't beat their six card deck, you just die. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.